Let me say that again. Well, hey, everybody. My shirt ain't fitting me right, but that's all right. We're in the middle of a hurricane. Look, this is uh, Reed Timmer's channel, and I've got that pulled up, and I've got uh, this radar here coming at us, watching it, and then I've got Wendy, and I've been looking at the Wendy, and I can move this around, and we're not on the back back side we're getting 52 miles an hour on the front part side of it 44. now this is at i don't i don't know if you can see that um let me look i might have to do this yeah you see it right where'd it go right, right there that's surface level now watch it change as i raise it up in elevation all right, that's 900 meters altitude, 87 miles an hour. That's how that works. And um, I even go higher. When we went higher, it got lower. So right about 1,500 meters elevation, we got 85. And bring it down to um, surface. One more time, leave it there. All right, now put it on the back side so we can see the wind coming in. 55 miles an hour, right there. Now I've got these guys bleeding over on me because of their voice, but I'm gonna cut them up just a little bit. They're witnessing the surge. I have the storm here. They'll be in the eye here pretty soon, but right now they've got the storm surge coming out. <laughs> trying to see how high the water is, but right now, look at the wind blowing. You see my mouse, you see that cursor right there. Look at that. That's definitely 55 mile an hour winds, but it's not 160 mile an hour. The storm has calmed itself down pretty good. Now this is not exactly live. There's the live right there. I backed up a little bit before I started recording. Let me cut their volume off. Yeah, that's that microphone they got is picking up all the all the wind sounds. Okay, so if we look at this right here. This shows some interesting details when I do this. I'll come down here and click that and tell it to play. And of course, it don't want to do it when I'm telling you to. <laughs> it, it won't it show me. There it goes. Come on. Well, dig gum it. That's the way it is, real time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there it is. That's showing you the wind. I can make it speed up, make that circle tight and less tight, and that shows you right now what's going on. I can pause it and make it stop. It started at the beginning. So this is still south of Tampa. You can see where Tampa is wrote right there. And then I sped it up so you can get a feel for what it's doing. It's just showing me a little bit of it, backing up, back it up and it stops. But I wanted to show you that and uh, compare that to the satellite view and compare that to radar. My radar is not near as good as what them boys that chase these storms are doing. But um, for what I'm doing, it's good enough. So the eye has actually, in my opinion, has broke apart, but it's still windy based on this right here. We can zoom in on this and 
I got this uh, ahead of a little bit, so I'm going to back it up just a little bit to show you where it come from. It come from right there. And it just instantly jumps. And then we get the speed right here on the back side. And if I play it ahead, it shows it just totally breaking apart. Best case scenario, you can plainly see as it was riding in. What it was, it was fairly tight right there. But I click right there, that the mile an hour is 74 miles an hour. And as it came in, it, it decreased. Show you again so you can see by the time it gets closer and closer to land. There's a one place right in there where we really get to see where the eye is. And we can see the back side of the wind is 50 something miles an hour on the front side, 42. Okay. Well, we have the power to diminish these things. They wanted this to come. I say they, you got to understand who I'm talking about. The people that don't have you and I's best interest at heart. They wanted this thing to be a category five when it was way down here. Out of nothing, it went from a tropical storm to a category five. And they wanted to do it where it was right here at a five, they wanted the five to be right here, people. They wanted these winds to be 180 miles an hour. And we got a lot of rain. Ain't no kidding about that. And there's going to be flooding. And the lights are going to go out, but they'll be back on really quick. Really quick. Because the damage is so minimized. Now, if you've been watching the news, you know you know very well that they've been drumming this thing up to be a Category 5, and it's not. Thank you for everybody that knows and believes that we have the power to diminish storms with the resurrected power of the I Am, of the Christ consciousness, of that of Yahshua ben Joseph that lives on the inside of each and every atom. The true light is the photon being animated from our atoms and our cells and our DNA down to our mitochondria cells and our telomeres. We can rebuild our bodies and we can become younger, healthier, stronger, do things that you can do when you were 21. And this has been prophesied for a very long time, an awakening. It's an awakening of consciousness this awakening of love, the people that have woke up to their true nature of what this matrix holographic simulated reality really is. The only thing that is real about this world is love. We as an awakening body of people on the planet Earth can heal this whole planet with our minds and our love and speak in life to our bodies, our cells and DNA. With the full disclosure and the truth of the hidden technologies, we'll be able to rebuild the world and, and there will be plenty for everyone. The war will go away because right now it's only benefiting a few. If war could benefit the whole world, we couldn't stop it. But by we knowing through disclosure and whistleblowers and people throughout history that have wakened up in their consciousness and telling us these things. Yahshua ben Joseph was one. A lot of people call him Jesus. The Buddha was one. There's so many of them over time that knew the reality that we were vis visualizing was an illusion, a holographic simulated reality of something that we're trapped in. 
because you see we're light body beings inhabiting physical forms. Our whole system has been corrupt to keep us from knowing who we are. Keep us weak and confused and then pushing these big storms on us. How they do it, it's black magic. Luciferian by nature and hate by greed. But that's changing. There's a new light in the world and it's you. When you start loving yourself, you start healing your reality. When you change the way you think, you become a new being, a new creation in Christ. That Christ energy comes from Mother, Father, God. A lot of people lose me when I say Mother, Father, Father, Mother, God. It's, it's just two words. Out of that union of feminine and masculine is what created Christ consciousness. One source as Yahshua ben Joseph. Call it Jesus. And you are that in your atoms. You are that that he was and is and can be in your atoms, your cells, and your DNA. The system wants us to be broke, busted, sick, and disgusted and have every reason not to know what's the most precious thing in the world. And that's this moment right now. This moment, this moment, it's all there ever is and ever will be. We're not taught that. We're taught that there's a future where we can be somebody and something. And then there's a past where we have all our pains and all our regrets. And that just keeps a person striving in time the wrong way the way where he lets his thoughts or she lets her thoughts control everything about their life. But when you take control over your thinking, you can start healing yourself and then healing the world and heal all the people that are around you with just pure love. That's what's coming to the planet, people. This planetary plane of existence, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> It can be heaven or it can be hell. The choice is what we make it. And evidently there was a bunch of good people that looked at this storm when it was way out here in a category five and they wanted to be a category five and wanted to be a category five and they just wanted it to devastate Florida. I'm not saying it didn't devastate Florida, but I'm saying it came in at, at a category three and instantly turned to a two and then a tropical storm. We're blessed people and we have much favor. I hope we have people in high places that are that have got our best interest at heart because we need truth and we need love and we need to have the reasons about the disclosure when that unveiling happens of how we've been deceived for all this time way before you were born and way before we even want to go back that far thousands of years there's there's been a control system here on this planetary plane of existence. But it's changing. <laughs> it's changing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother, for giving us this gift to speak love and life to our body and speak love and life to the storm and ask it to stow slow down. <laughs> Bow down. <laughs> You're going too fast. You got to take your time and make it last. Yeah. We have that power. We are that that we say we are. 
with the resurrected power of the Christ consciousness that I am, I'm telling you, you are very, very powerful. Each and every one of you that's hearing my words, whether it's in the future or now, you will know when you can steal your mind, you become at peace with what is. But for a long time, we've been under a type of mind control. No more, no more. The whole world is awakening to this love of this energy of our creator source. Nobody can explain what that means to talk about that type of power of love that is the creator of all things eternal. I'll leave you on this. Nothing of this world is eternal except that that you are. When you resonate and vibrate at a high level of love and you have an awakening within your being and you realize you're not a body, you're not your name, you realize that the teaching of Yahshua ben Joseph and many others were true, that there's only one of us, only one of us. Everyone has the same atoms. It's in the stars, it's in the moon, it's in the sun, it's in everything and everyone. We see difference in each other because of the, the curse. This holographic simulated reality has kept us in duality. And it's your choice to think new thoughts, dream new visions and need new realities, and love yourself first. When you heal yourself from all these worldly wrongs, and you become healthier, by speaking life to your atoms and your cells, you help change the world. Join me in helping change the world. I'm gonna cut it off here. Let's look, let's look at the storm one more time, see what, see what we did, how it happened, and how bad it could have been. Oh my goodness, it could have been way worse. The Carolinas got away from us, but no more, no more. We see through the dark side's agendas, and there's people in high, high places of this world that are changing the way they think. They're starting to love each other. So stick around. It's going to get real interesting. I love each and every one of you. Keep coming back and watching my channel. Leave a comment. Tell me who you are and, and just, yeah, smiley face to do. Y'all have a wonderful night. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.